Casper or Casper Hybrid? Which mattress is right for you? Hey guys, it's Martin here from Mattress Clarity. And today I'm talking about just that. I'm gonna talk about their similarities, their differences, my experience with both and help you choose one over the other. Let's get started. First off, you want to see a list of our top picks for mattresses, head over to mattressclarity.com. They're going to find some great reviews on mattresses, bedding, pillows, and some great discounts on mattresses like the Casper and the Casper Hybrid. You'll also find some great coupons in the description below. So let's start off by talking about the similarities between these two mattresses. First off, they are both the same height. They have the exact same comfort layer right on top. They both feature zone support. They are similar in terms of firmness and similar in terms of feel. So now let's talk about the differences between these two mattresses. First off, in terms of construction, they have different base layers. In the Casper Original mattress, you're going to have a base foam layer. In the Casper Hybrid, you're going to have supportive coils. Now, because of that, there's going to be some other differences as well. First off, in terms of breathability, the Casper Hybrid should be more breathable than the Casper Original mattress. In terms of support, the Casper Hybrid should also be more supportive than the Casper Original mattress. Now, in terms of price, the Casper Original mattress costs less than the Casper Hybrid. So now let's take a look at the construction of both these mattresses, starting on top and then working our way down. So first off, speaking of the top cover and the comfort layer, they're pretty much identical with these two mattresses. So first off, on top, you're gonna have this thin cover, breathable, knit, very soft as well on both mattresses. Now the first layer on both mattresses as well is gonna be a layer of polyfoam that is soft and responsive as well. So it bounces back into place pretty quickly. It also features something called Airscape technology. Basically, it's ventilated for airflow to add more breathability to the top of both these mattresses. Now, below that in both mattresses, you have a layer of zone support. Basically, a layer of memory foam that's firmer towards the center, softer towards the head and foot of the mattress. With the Casper Original and the Casper Hybrid, the idea is basically to give you more of a firm, supportive mattress when you're on your back and stomach, and more pressure relieving and soft when you're on your side. Now, moving down to the support layers, that's where these two mattresses are different. With the Casper Original mattress, some base foam, over with the Casper Hybrid mattress, some supportive coils. So, what does all that mean? Well, first off, again, with the zoning, very similar experience with both mattresses. Feels different depending on your sleeping position. But with the coil, some differences as well. So, more room for airflow, so the Casper Hybrid should be more breathable than the Casper Original mattress. And in terms of support, the Casper Hybrid should also be more supportive than the Casper Original. And now let's talk about differences in firmness and feel. In terms of firmness, I thought both mattresses were close to a seven out of 10, just a little bit firmer than average. That's because on top, some very soft, responsive foam. Below that, you have your zone support. Below that, some firmer, more supportive layers. I will say it feels a little bit more supportive when you're over on the Casper Hybrid than when you're on the Casper Original mattress. But that being said, very similar in terms of firmness. Also with that zoning, with that zone support system, both mattresses will feel firmer, more supportive when you're back in stomach sleeping and more pressure leaving a little bit softer when you're on your side. Now in terms of feel, very close as well. More of a balanced foam feel on top of both mattresses. Very responsive, makes it easy to move around on both mattresses. However, with the coils in the Casper Hybrid, a little bit more bouncy, so a bit more responsive than the Casper Original mattress. And now let's talk about how I feel in different sleeping positions on both these mattresses. Starting off on the Casper Original All Foam Mattress on my back, a very good balance of comfort and support, my hips sinking just the right amount, good a bit of contouring as well, and good overall support. Also feeling some good lumbar support from the zoning in the second layer. Moving to my side, some decent pressure relief on my shoulders and my hips, but I am a larger person feeling some pressure specifically on my shoulders. If you're lighter than me, less than 250 pounds, you might not press in quite so far. It might feel softer to you than it did to me. Moving to my stomach, a decent match for stomach sleeping, so my hips aren't bowing in too far. That being said, if I was sleeping primarily in my stomach, I'd probably want something firmer overall. Now moving to the Casper Hybrid matters on my back, also a very good balance of comfort and support. I feel even, I think, more support from the coils in the bottom layer of the mattress. So as a larger person, I feel more supported on the Casper Hybrid. Now, moving to my side, again, kind of similar to the pressure relief I was feeling over on the Casper Original. Some pressure on my shoulders and my hips, but again, if you're a lighter person than me, you might feel better pressure relief than I did. 
However, moving to my stomach, I am feeling a little bit more support than I felt over on the Casper Original mattress, so a little bit more support under my hips. Still not a fantastic match for me as a larger stomach sleeper, but definitely better than the Casper Original. Here at Matt is clear, I like to mix subjective opinion with objective tests. And one of those tests is the pressure map. So I lie down on my backside and stomach. You see anywhere from blue for no pressure, all the way up to red for high pressure. Now let's pull up the side sleeping results for both these mattresses to get a better idea of how well these mattresses are leaving pressure on my shoulders and my hips. If you sleep with a partner, there's two things you want to think about. It's motion transfer and edge support. Motion transfer means you're lying down on one side of the mattress and your partner moves around on the other side. Are you going to feel that motion or not? Now, edge support means if you're sitting or lying down at the edge of a mattress, you feel secure or more you're going to roll off and onto the floor. First off, speaking of motion transfer, pretty similar between both mattresses, based on the same layers on top, memory foam in the second layer. Absorbing a good deal of motion, so not a bad match for couples in that respect. However, speaking of edge support, I am feeling better edge support on the Casper Hybrid mattress. I think it's because you have coils in the base layer, so when I'm sitting, lying down near the edge of the Casper Hybrid, I feel more secure than I feel lying near the edge of the Casper Original mattress. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Which one of these mattresses should you get? In terms of who should get the Casper, I think it's the better option for lighter people and those who don't need quite as much support. It's the more affordable mattress, so if you weigh less, you don't need quite as much support, support from coils, you can save some money with the Casper Original mattress. Now in terms of who should get the Casper Hybrid, definitely the better option for hot sleepers. With the coils and the support layer, a lot more room for airflow, a more breathable mattress should sleep cooler than the Casper Original mattress. It's also a better option, I think, for those who need more support overall. If you're a larger person, you have more support needs, the Casper Hybrid with the coils in it, definitely a better option for you. Last but not least, I think the Casper Hybrid is also a good option for stomach sleepers, definitely between the two mattresses. It is definitely more supportive when you're on your stomach, more support under your hips, you're not bowing in quite so much and getting out of alignment. So how do you unbox it? They're gonna to come to your house in a box or a bag. So bring that mattress inside with the help of a friend. This can be quite heavy, you don't wanna strain yourself. Then bring it into your bedroom. If it's a box, open up the top of the box, take out your rolled up mattress. Then place the rolled up mattress on your framer foundation and slowly, carefully cut through the plastic around the mattress. You don't wanna damage your brand new mattress. Then clear away the plastic, clear away all the packing materials. Give it about 24 to 48 hours to completely expand and you're good to go. Now I'd like to answer some frequently asked questions about the Casper and Casper Hybrid mattresses. The first question is, which mattress is better, the Casper or the Casper Hybrid? I wouldn't say one mattress is better than the other, but they're definitely a better match for different types of sleepers. For instance, the Casper is a better option, I think, for those who want to save some money and lightweight sleepers as well. The Casper Hybrid is a better option, I think, for larger people, those who need more support and hot sleepers. The second question is, which mattress sleeps cooler, the Casper or the Casper Hybrid? In our experience, the Casper Hybrid sleeps cooler than the Casper mattress. That's because it has coils in its support layer, more room for airflow, more breathability, should sleep cooler than the Casper mattress. The last question is, which mattress is more affordable, the Casper or the Casper Hybrid? The Casper is more affordable than the Casper Hybrid. Right now, for a queen size, around $200 less for a Casper than a Casper Hybrid. At this point, you should know which mattress is right for you. But if you're still a bit confused and want a personal recommendation, just leave a comment below. Well, that's about it. Just gonna start looking for a mattress for bedding, head over to mattressclary.com. We also do a lot of videos just like this. So hit the like button and subscribe.